morning fabulous people from Haros Port. Today I'm on my way to Mykonos Island and I just wanted to share a few quick tips and tricks when you're taking the ferry from Paris to other places like Naxos or Santorini or Mykonos in my example. So I just wanted to show you really quick because you know things sometimes are not as clear as we're used to in the States. I just wanted to show you that here you sometimes have the signs written out it says Naxos, Naxos and then if you're heading to Mykonos guys it's lane one because I just had to literally walk around find someone and ask where is the lane for Mykonos because I just wanted to make sure that I'm coming to the right place and for those of you who is heading to Mykonos it is lane one from Parikia guys and I just realized my face is super <laughs> it's super shiny guys because it is hot guys it is hot it is humid and I have sunscreen blastered all over my face all right fabulous people let's get this vlog travel vlog started I guess and if you are new to my channel please remember to smash that like button right now and well or even if you're not new to my channel smash that like button right now and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing if my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you another thing that I want to share with you is ferry ticket prices of course they do vary based on the distance between the Greek islands you're visiting the type of the ferry you're taking and the type of a ticket economy business etc for example, the ferry from Paros to Antiparos was only 7 minutes and was 1 euro and 20 cents a person. Whereas the ferry from Mykonos to Crete is over 5 hours and costs 84 euros and 30 cents with an assigned seat. One important thing that I think you should know about ferry ticket prices is that if you purchase your ferry tickets through any direct ferry representative agency on any of the Greek islands, you will be saving on a third party fee. For example, the same ferry tickets from Mykonos to Crete online were 20 euros more expensive than when I purchased them directly. If you plan on traveling Greece by ferry in 2021, please keep in mind that it is still mandatory to wear masks the entire time you're on the ferry, even at your seat. All right, fabulous people, just like on any ferry in Greece, there are different, of course, types of tickets. You have your economy, you have your business class, and then I guess super duper business class. Of course, it depends on the ferry because those ferries that go overnight, you also have cabins where you can literally go and sleep. You have a bed there. This ferry is smaller, the one that goes from Paris to Mykonos, so it does not have a bed, but it does have three different classes. One thing that I want to specify is that every single time you embark the ferry, the first five minutes are super hectic. People are everywhere. You're trying to figure out where to put the bags. Your bags are always left downstairs and then you go up to whatever ticket you purchase. So kind of center yourself. Don't mind all that commotion leave the bags and then find your seats or go to the deck if you got the economy version and then just relax and enjoy the views. And finally, in not so happy news, it looks like testing rules for ferries are about to change once again. The fun part about it is that no one knows how the testing will look like. Will it need to be between certain Greek islands or all of them? Should it be a PCR test or self-test is okay? In the meantime, please don't forget to press the like button and if you're new to my channel to subscribe so you don't miss any important updates. I will see you all at the next destination. The biggest kiss from Greek islands.